What's up guys, Sammy here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to control your LifeX lighting through the Elgato Stream Deck. And this is really cool because it allows you to interact with your lights in a different way other than your smartphone or through Google Home and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it and you'll be able to start using it pretty much straight away. Okay guys, so in order to start controlling our LifeX lighting with the Elgato Stream Deck, we first need to set up a few scripts. We also need to install Python if we haven't already installed it. So that's the first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to head over to python.org slash downloads. I'll leave links in the description to all the things that you'll need. Uh, but yeah, so we're at the downloads page and you'll want to download the latest version of Python 2.7 whatever so right now it's dot 15 I'm gonna click on the download button here and then we're gonna scroll down and because this uh, tutorial is mainly focused focused at Windows users that's what we're gonna be using today so we'll download Windows x86-64 MSI installer I've got that on my desktop right now so we'll double click that and we are going to install for all users so we'll click next for the folder we'll just leave it as is here click next now there's a couple of ways you can do this last sort of like sort of in between step but the way that we're going to do it is add python.exe to path and just click on will be installed on local hard drive so click next it's going to ask us for permission so we'll click yes and it might take a little while just to install uh, this process uh, so we'll just leave it to do its thing and we'll come back once that is complete okay so that's finished we can click on finish and let's go into a command prompt. So we'll go to start, type cmd. We are going to install the pipx or pyfx module. So we'll do pip install pipx. It's going to collect the module and install it. And there we go. That's done. We'll close that. Now we're going to head over to cloud.lifex.com. You'll need to sign in with your lifex account. And uh, it'll basically bring you to this page here. We need to go up to our account, which is just the email address here. Go to settings. And then we need to create a token. So we'll generate a new token. Let's give this a name. I'm just going to call it Stream Deck. Just so that we know what it's for. We're going to generate that. And now here we have a token. All right, so we've got this token. We'll copy that. And now let's head over to this page here, which will be in the description as well. api.developer.lifex.com uh, So at the bottom here, there's a little key. We'll just click on that and paste in the token and click the little tick here. For the selector, we're going to choose all. And so what this is going to show is it's going to show all of our lights in this result format. So we'll click on try it. And so it's going to load up a list of all of our lights and uh, settings basically into this format. So I already know the light that I'm going to be picking, but if you don't know the light that you want to choose, it's underneath label. So you could also just find this within the app once you set up your um, your lights. But I just it's it's good to know what sort of what light you're actually choosing, and then you can see the label right there. Okay, so we are going to head up to uh, creating a Python script. And so I already have one here that I've created as a template, which I'll leave links in the description. There'll be free paste bin links um, for different files. So the first one, the first link will be for the Python file. So we'll just edit this and this is what it will look like. First off, we're going to paste that API key in that spot right there. For the light label, I'm going to choose my left light. So that is side one. And so from here, you can also change the duration of how long it takes to fade fade in and fade out the light. So turning on and off the light. Um, so you can change this up to two. You can change this to 0 0.5. Up to you. Anyways, we're going to go save as. We're going to go to this PC. Local disk C. Python 27 folder, scripts folder, and then we're going to give this a name. So because my light is side one, I can do that or I could do left underscore light underscore toggle. At the end of it, 
we need to put dot py um, I'm using notepad plus plus but if you were using notepad same thing you still have to put dot py on the end of it and so now that is saved we're pretty much set up in that department it's importing pifx from the pyfx or whatever it's importing that module from python so that's how it's connecting up okay so the next one is that we need to set up our bat script here it is right here so what would happen is um if we didn't have the vbs script and we just launched from the the batch file it's you can kind of see there's like a like command prompt that comes up for a second the, the vbs script just makes it so that when you open it it's sort of like it's running in the background and when you press it on the stream deck you don't see any of that you don't see the command prompt come up so yeah that's the that's the next one that we need to edit which is the bat script we're going to change the light name here to side one and you'll need to repeat these steps for every light that you want to add uh, to your stream deck so here it's just going to the Python 27 scripts folder and you can change that as well if you need to um, we're going to save that as into local disk C Python 27 scripts folder and we're going to basically do the same thing but put dot bat on the end of it so it's identified as a bat script okay so that's done Next one is the VBS script. So we'll click that one and we're going to rename this part here. And then we are going to go save as same thing. Go to this PC, local disk C, Python 27, the scripts folder. And then on the end of this one, I'm going to put dot VBS. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Okay, so now we've got that, we've got our script set up. Now we can actually head over to our Stream Deck application. And I need to open up Stream Deck. If it's, there it is. We'll open up Stream Deck. And so I'll just delete these previous ones here. And so what we need to do is we need to add an action. So we'll go down to System. And then click on Open and drag that over to here. Now at this point you can give it a icon and that's what I usually do. So I give it an icon of what light I'm actually choosing. But for the moment I'm just going to call this left light. And then from here we need to click on these little three dots which un is under app file. And so we'll click that. It's going to open up a window here. We'll go to this PC, local disk C, Python 27 and then our scripts folder. And we want to choose the VBS script file here so that we will open that one and then we'll click on open. And so at this point, it's actually set up. So if I click on my stream deck left light, my light has now faded on. If I click it again, it's now faded off. So there you go. That's how you set up your LifeX lighting and being able to control them through the Elgato stream deck. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. Um, if there are any types of different tutorials that you guys would like to see through the stream deck or some more different stuff with the LifeX lighting, let me know. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe and hit that bell icon next to it just to uh, basically find out when I push out new videos. But yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.